What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the recent leaks. I mean, when I say recent, 35 minutes ago leaks of the Prismic Evolutions, Dresser of Festival, Evolutions, Evolving Skies 2.0, SIR leaks I've, are here. I did have another video planned for today, but that one's just gonna have to wait till tomorrow because this is very urgent news. All right, so I'm here on the Pokey Beach website, of course, the best website for leaks. And as you can see, this, this, so this came from a poster collection. Let's just get that out of the way. And man, I don't, I, I, when, when it comes to leaks, I'm not sure if Pokemon wanted these to get out or wanted us to speculate or what they, or if they throw us a uh, little hints or like give us a bone, get us really excited about the sets. I don't, I don't know what it is, but, but they are here. And I, I again, they're not the best quality images, but, um, Man, um, so we so this little Espeon right here, um, it comes from a comic card. A lot of these are uh, from common cards, but but let's just get into the bread and the butter, and that's going to be these SIR. So top row right here is of course the EX cards, and personally, I think the EX cards look great. I'm not a huge fan of like collecting these EX cards, but I think these knock it out of the park. I really like the Flareon. The Flareon is my is my favorite um huge flareon fan over here but um let's go into these very very low res images and i can't really tell if if the art is going to be kind of like chalk-esque uh not necessarily that 3d art um, um i would say the three the closest one to that 3d art would probably be the espion but man these these special illustration arts look Ops, absolutely amazing. Um, again, I'm going to collect this set in both English and Japanese. Um, do I think that this is going to be Evolving Skies 2.0 just based off of these top hits? I think that a lot of people believe and are going to hold this set to the same standards of Evolving Skies. Um, I say that because we know what Moonbrion does in as far as an investment, as far as the price goes. When I first heard of the news, I found it on uh, PTCG Radio. He is a great YouTuber. I believe he's sponsored by Pokemon as well. And in the comments section already, I mean, like I said, this was already 30, this, this was only 35 minutes into these um, special illustration rares getting leaked. But people are already saying, Moonbrion to the bank, Evolving Skies 2.0, the Umbreon is going to print. These are all money references, obviously. And do I think that this Moonbrion right here, this Umbreon, is going to do those same numbers. I, I believe so. I believe that a lot of people are going to buy out to this card and try to overinflate it, pump this one up to the moon, and here we go, all over again. I'm very, very curious to see what this set is going to do in Japanese. Will this increase the prices of said booster boxes in the Japanese market? I guess we are going to just have to wait and find out. But as far as like the English market, it might be it might be bad this this might get a little crazy i'm personally really excited for the flareon card and the jolteon that will be my main hits i know these aren't the most popular evolutions but they are for me they 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 are different but um yeah i i i agree that the, the umbreon this moonbreon this terrestrialized moonbreon is absolutely gorgeous and and speaking of the whole terrestrial crowns it's just it's so funny how people's um can how people can change their minds so fast overnight all i was hearing from people on discord and reddit and youtube is how they absolutely hate these terrestrial crowns that they're the worst things ever and i agree i am not a huge fan of the terrestrial crowns i think that they are busy um, I think that they take up a lot of space on the card. If you guys haven't played the game, I understand how you can potentially not like it. I mean, in the game, it kind of makes you appreciate them a little bit more, the whole terrestrialization. It's kind of a dumb gimmick, silly gimmick, 
but I think that these cards look pretty good. I think that they did a good job kind of weighing them out artistically. So let's truly see how much people dislike the crowns now. It's funny how just a little evolution set can just change everybody's mind, turn everybody around. And now SV is the best era of all time. Who knows? We will have to wait and see. We've already seen the craziness of the Pokemon Center ETBs for this set. And that is just a small indicator of where people's minds are, how people were just waiting for the next Evolving Skies. And I think that they believe that this is it. I am personally very skeptical of that comparison and maybe that'll be a topic for another video. So now I'm going to turn it to you guys. Let me know what do you guys think of these special illustration leaks, special art wares if you're in Japanese. Let me know. Let me know anything in the comment section down below. I love hearing your guys' thoughts. I love the argument. I love the debates. So let's get it going. And until tomorrow, I'll catch you guys with a fresh new video. Peace.